Hi there. In today's video, we'll discuss two ways to duplicate objects around a circle in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. I already have this uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels blank documents created. So I'm going to grab the ellipse tool and holding shift, I'm going to drag to make a circle. Since mine has a black fill, I'm going to hit the shortcut forward slash key to remove the fill. Now I'm going to drag a guide from the ruler on the left and uh, drop it right at the center of the circle vertically. If you can't find the ruler, just go to view and you'll find the show ruler option there. Or you can even press the command R on a Mac or control R on a PC to show the ruler. Now drag another guide from the ruler above and drop it at the center of the circle horizontally. Next, make a circle using the ellipse tool and fill it with the color of your choice. I'm going to fill it with blue and then vertically align it to the bigger circle I have here. Now select the small circle and click on the rotate tool. Alternatively, you can press the letter R to activate the rotate tool. The moment you do that, you'll find a small light blue pin appearing on the center of the small circle. Actually, let me zoom in to show you how the pin looks. So that's the pin sitting at the center of the circle. Now go to the center point of the bigger circle where both the guides are crossing and click once and you shall find that the pin has moved to this point. This is basically a reference point, more like a tether of the smaller circle. And from the pop-up menu, change the angle if you want to, preferably a multiple of uh, 360 degrees, as a circle has 360 degrees. Mine is set to 18 degrees and I'm fine with it, so I'm going to go with 18 and uh, hit copy. The moment I hit copy, a copy will appear as per the degree of the rotation applied to it. Now all I need to do is to duplicate it, so keep hitting Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC to duplicate it. And each time you do it, it will keep copying the circle perfectly around the bigger circle. When you've made a full circle, you can assess how perfectly we were able to make circles around the bigger circle. And it's valid for any other shape as well. It does not necessarily have to be a circle. It would work with a triangle or any polygon, etc. Now let's move to method two of duplicating a shape around the circle. And this is perhaps the best way to make duplicates around any circle. So let's hit Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on a PC to remove these smaller guys. All right, so let's pick the ellipse tool and drag to make a circle. I want to change the color to something lighter, so let's pick pink as the fill color for a change. Now grab the ellipse tool once again and uh, make a small circle right below the bigger one we've just made and change its color to black. Next, align it vertically to the pink circle in a way that it touches the bottom of the pink circle as illustrated. Now select them both and group them by hitting Command G on a Mac or Control G on a PC. Next go to Effect, Distort and Transform and select Transform. From the Transform panel, ensure the Preview button is checked and this small grid that you see here. Click on the Center button at the bottom to select it. What it does is that it will keep that portion fixed while rotating and that's exactly what we want. Next in the copies option type in 18 because we want 18 copies. You can put in any number of your choice here. You don't have to stick to 18. Now the best part is that we don't really have to do any sort of calculation to enable Illustrator to fit these 18 copies uniformly. All we have to do is in the angle option type in 360 for the whole circle and then divide it by which is uh, denoted by a forward slash and then type in 18 and hit tab and you shall find how perfectly the copies are made. Don't worry at this point it looks more like a big pink circle with wavy circumference but you will know soon enough what we're doing. 
Grab this pink circle and drag it right to the center of the bigger circle. Ensure that your smart guides are on. You can check it under view option on top or you can hit the shortcut command U on a Mac or control U on a PC to activate it or deactivate it. So it's a toggle basically. Now double click on the original circle we made to enter into the isolation mode. Once in the isolation mode, hold shift and drag it to the top and outside of the bigger circle and you'll find how all the other circles uniformly drag themselves out as you move your pointer. The best part is that you can make changes to the shapes as well and all the changes will happen rather take effect to all the circles together. So let's pick the white arrow and click on the original circle on top to select the anchor point and drag it and you'll find all the other circles follow your command. Click on that anchor point and using the sharp corner button here, I can make the corner of all the circles sharp. Using the ellipse tool, I can even make another smaller circle right below my original and it gets copied to the rest automatically. I can even change the color by selecting the circle and changing the color from the color palette and the rest shall obey my command. I think it's a better way to duplicate objects around the circle and not just that, there is so much you can do using this feature. So dive deep into your creative side and make wonderful designs using this tool. One last thing to talk about is to delete the small black circle at the center. So come out of the isolation mode and select your design and uh, go to object and expand appearance and then click on ungroup option on the right you might have to ungroup it more than once maybe twice now select the circles at the center and hit delete and they shall be gone i said they and not it because although it looks like one circle but it is not there must be 18 circles overlapping because remember we made 18 copies so that's how you duplicate shapes around a circle. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and have learned something from it. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also let me know if my videos are helping you in the comment section or whatever feedback you have for the videos and I promise I'll take it constructively. So I'm going to see you on Sunday now. Goodbye and thanks for watching.